Uh, so, my name is Chema Guijarro, and I will be reading a story from You Don't Have a Clue, an anthology by uh, Sarah Cortez, and I'm in here. Story is As the Flame Rose. I'll just read the first couple pages, and we'll get going. Okay. Excuse me if I don't look up, I'm reading. It's okay. Uh, As the Flame Rose, by me. Sweating the little things has always been my mom's way of making me fly straight. I've just been accepted to a school for deaf kids, so naturally, she keeps insisting I grow up my hair. I'm on the couch reading El Yam Nun Yamas when she pulls the book down, smearing red chili all over the pages. She was in the kitchen making tamales to sell it to swap me, but now she's in front of me, hair up in a bun, her forehead sweaty and hands red like she just came out of surgery. Did you not hear me, Benito? I read her lips as she, as she says it in Spanish. She's forgotten I'm deaf. Again. I've been deaf for about a year now, but she still forgets. I point to my ear and the embarrassment slowly begins to hit her. She blushes and bites her lips, making her cheeks puff out with little dimples. She looks as though she's might say, as she might say she's sorry, but I'm the one who should apologize. I should have been helping her make the tamales instead of reading. I'm not bringing it up though, so as a joke, so a joke is my best option. I twirl the finger I'm pointing at my ear into small circles. It's one of those everyday gestures that coincides with sign language. Loca I mouth. It works. She forgets her embarrassment. It doesn't matter that you're deaf, she says in Spanish. I have made it clear that, that you're not showing up pelon to that school. Mom never talks to me in English, not in front of cops or teachers or the principal, never. Why? I don't know. It might be something about her words being stronger in Spanish or about wanting me to practice Spanish. I asked her once, but she said I should know why. I said I didn't, but she just kept talking. I start rubbing my scalp. I used clippers instead of razors the last time I shaved, and the stubble tickled my palm. I should argue that no one will care that I'm bald, and in my head, I'm already thinking of reasons, but I have to text them out on my phone for her, and it gives her an advantage. I stopped talking once I was too deaf to hear my own voice because I didn't want to risk sounding like a retard around people, especially not around her. In the end though, my handicap doesn't matter. There's nothing I can write, write that will make her agree with me. I go back to reading. It takes me a while to get back into the story, but when I do, she pulls the book down again saying, and I'm not crazy, I'm just tired. She says tired with the face of someone saying goodbye at the airport, and my guilty feelings get serious. I put the book down and help her spread masa on the corn leaves. Around the house, it's just me and my mom. Chucho, my half-brother, is in jail again after being out for five years. Is that a book from your dad's book bookcase? I nod. My dad left before I could crawl and has never bothered to check in on us. It's enough to say he died, but we don't. We just act like he did. The only thing he left behind is three shelves of books and old pictures of him and mom, which Chucho burned before I got a chance to. I can tell mom still resents him for it. There are tons of pictures of Chucho and his dad, but only a few of me as a baby. She keeps two of them framed on the shelves with my dad's books. One of me and her, she's still young, her hair is dark and her face is a little chubby, and I'm wrapped in a blanket a few weeks old. The picture is of me, the other picture is of me on my first birthday, a cake shaped like, shaped like, bat, like the bat signal with one of those big number candles stuck on it in front of me. I'm blowing out the candle and Chucho and his girlfriend are at, are at the time, and his girlfriend at the time are helping me. Our cheeks puffed out and faces side by side. Other family pictures around the house are before my dad showed up and after he left. I don't know how long he and my mom were together before he had me, but I'm glad Chucho burned them all. If we aren't worth sticking around for, he isn't worth remembering. I didn't ruin it with the chile, verdad? My mom asks about the book. I shake my head, but there were red clumps all over the pages when I closed it. After they dry, the pages are going to be warped and stained. It's a book of short stories, the saddest short stories I've ever read. In a few days, I'll scratch off the crusted over chile and the pages will look like bandages with blood seeping through. And that's it. Thank you.